Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. Today I am going to be decorating um, in my coffee dyed speckled journal that I made um, quite a few months back and I will um, link the uh, playlist for all of those videos below in the description box. And for anybody that doesn't know how to get to the description box, I've had quite a few questions about this. Right under every one of my videos, there is um, my picture and subscribe and all this right below it. And then there's this little arrow here. And if you will click that arrow that's right under this video right there, it'll be um, an expander uh, top menu. And it shows the description and all of my links and things like that um, that are under every one of my videos. So that, that is the description box. You have to click that little uh, down arrow to see the entire description box. That's where all of that will be. The links for this where we made this um, journal on my channel. Now, I have to apologize. Also, some might not even... Uh, realize it but I've had three acrylics to come off and I just haven't been to the nail salon to get it fixed so um, <laughs> we have some odd nails here and I apologize for that because I know this my hands is what y'all see sorry um, but I was going to um, decorate in this journal some of the pages and um, I wanted y'all to go along with me because I mean this is what I'm doing I thought people know how to decorate their own pages. I don't have to show this, but it's what I'm doing right now. And I don't really have any new journals that I'm starting right now. So I was just going to show you what I'm doing. Uh, this is some collage paper. Now we do have some collage paper. I don't know if we have this exact one, but this one is from Tim Holtz. Um, I've got some collage paper that I want to put on this page to cover up this little mess right here that resulted from this. I had done some stamping and some um, Mod Podge to keep that die cut on there. And then I come back and done some inking. And anyway, on the back, that's, <laughs> that's what it resulted in. So I want to cover up some of that. And then I'm thinking I might put uh, some type of um, something here so that I can do more writing on that. But I was just going to go through and start decorating pages. And I will um, tell you um, if I use something that is not in our shop, scrapbookingwithme.com, uh, I will let you know and um, tell you where I got it from. But most everything that I'll be using today uh, comes from the shop. So y'all hop over there after this video and pick you up some of this beautiful stuff. I'm going to use some of these um, nature stickers. They're washi stickers and they do have a backing on them. So all of these will have to be removed from their backing that I use and put on there but these are so pretty they're kind of realistic looking I love nature I love putting natural looking things in my journals we have some of these listed in the shop and we have more coming from our overseas supplier they will be here should be the first week of February so but these are just some of those that I have out here. And if you've got the um, December AJ kit, then you got a pack of those in there. Uh, here's some more that's like eucalyptus looking. I love this one right here. And that one will go very nicely in this journal. So I will be using that one somewhere. Um, we had some of these. If you've got the uh, collage paper packs that said Blue Lady on them, that's what these are. Uh, I think those are all gone. And I could not find any more with our supplier to get more of those. Um, these are the cut apart butterfly strips that we had quite a few of. And y'all 
I mean, you bought them within 24 hours. Every one of them, they're gone. So I have ordered more of these, and they are on their way from our overseas supplier also. Plus, I'm going to be using some things that are just on my desk. I love doing that. I love having a project on my desk, and then just whatever has been left over from other projects, just kind of throwing it in there and making it work. So um, this is the latest freebie on my buy me a coffee website and that link is in my description box below so i'll be using some of that from the fabulous betty renfro i've got some word labels from nancy's fancies on etsy i've got these word labels from tracy fox these from my porch prints and then this brand new collection that we've had in the shop i got the one that had the wholesale sticker on the front of it because i just thought that was the ugliest thing and i didn't want to send that to y'all so i just had to take this one myself <laughs> that's the excuse i'm using anyway this one's called bell countryside and it is made by crafters companion and i mean look at that paper just gorgeous stuff um i got quite a few of these y'all bought them out it's all sold out but i have ordered more so they should be here next week and i'm recording this video on what the 12th of january 2022 so they should be in next week but anyways i mean just gorgeous paper and i'm wanting to use a little bit of that in this um coffee dyed speckled journal because i think it will go with it very well beautiful beautiful colors so there's all of that i'm going to go ahead and get this put on i want to tear here make it look very intentional the uh, tearing anyway between working at the shop and taking care of our new puppy and housework and then um, headaches. I've been having some migraines lately and um, vertigo issues are back. So I'm trying my best to take it easy and hopefully it's just um, the weather that we've been having. We've been uh, very hot one day and then cold as all get out the next day especially for Alabama anyway the next day and I think it's just wreaking havoc on my sinuses and stuff and I believe that's why I've got the vertigo issues of course if they continue I will go on to the doctor so nobody be too concerned I know um, it's nothing to take lightly and I am not driving right now my husband has been driving me everywhere and um, so I am taking responsibility and not getting out on the road and driving so we're good there and it's not like a I don't know it just kind of makes me dizzy and weak and ugh, I just can't stand vertigo and I just have a feeling that I'm going to have to be really dealing with it for the rest of my life. I think that's just a given something that's happening with me um, with getting older, which, you know, I'm only 45, so I didn't think that I would be dealing with this kind of stuff this much, but, and this soon, anyway. But, dealing with that i've got um, vision issues as far as um, i'm already having to use readers <laughs> for up close stuff when i do my videos i don't have my contacts in i have glasses on so that i can pull my glasses down and look at tiny little things to make sure they're on there correctly it's just craziness what happens when you get older isn't it 
Okay, I'm going to glue this down just a little bit more. This is art glitter glue that I'm using in our um, sugar bell bottles that y'all love to get from our shop. We keep those in stock and um, try our best not to ever be out of stock of these because these are so good. And then, of course, we have the um, tips that go with them too. Uh, I have, this is a knitting needle <laughs> tip that I just um, started using before we could get the um, real tips in. And I have a straight pin just up into the hole of the knitting needle tip. So that's what I've got covering mine. I really like how that paper looks. Now collage paper is kind of like tissue paper. That's the consistency there is. That needs to be trimmed off some more there. That's better. I like that. I like how that has covered it up. It looks intentional. I like that. Don't even need any... Nah, I don't even need any um, ink on there. And let's look. That is just so pretty. Love that. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to trim it off here. This little washi sticker. It's the perfect spot to trim it off. And then get the backing off. And I had someone say in comments, um, <laughs> did you have a hard time getting the backing off of that washi sticker? It took me forever and I finally had to get my husband to do it. Yeah. That's, that's the worst thing about these, but they're so pretty. I can look over that. <laughs> I forgive them because <laughs> they're just so pretty. I love transparent stickers. I love how it looks on your page. I mean, look at that. That's just gorgeous. I love it. And I think I need a little label at the bottom of it. So let's do... These would go really well with that that's already there. So maybe, oh, I like this one. Let's cut this little ticket out from my porch prints. I bought so much from my porch prints, I don't recall what kit this is from. But I guarantee you, she makes her search very, very easy in her Etsy shop, so I guarantee if you put in Rose Ticket in the search bar at the top of her Etsy shop, these will pop up. Almost guarantee you. So, I've been in a big time cleaning mood. And I really don't know what that's all about because um, the last time I remember being in this much of a cleaning mood and cleaning out and like just getting everything out that we don't use anymore um, was when I was nesting when I was pregnant. <laughs> of course, that cannot um, be uh, anything that ever happens again. So I know that's not, <laughs> I know that is not um, what's going on, but. I've had a whole lot more energy to do things here lately. Oh, I love that. That's pretty. I'm going to add that there. And um, I feel that it has a little bit to do with... I have taken up um, meditating and reading more. Um, I've challenged myself for this year to read and meditate more than um, trying to relax just by watching TV. So I've really not watched that much TV this year so far. Of course, we're only about halfway through January now, right now, I know. But I feel like that I have gained more energy from doing that. I'm actually on my 11th or 12th book right now and I do um, listen a lot to books instead of actually reading them so I um, 
am a member of Audible and, you know, I listen that way. Um, I've also gotten on to um, a website called NetGalley, and that is a place where authors and their publishers um, put their books um, there for people to read that have some type of social media uh, influence or even magazine librarians, things like that. Some type of influence over um, books and the reviews and things like that. So I've joined there and gotten approved for quite a few books already. And so I've just been gobbling them up. But those books we get are advanced reader's copies, so ARCs. And we get to read them before they are released for publication to the general public. And I just love that. And I love, love, love reading. And um, I didn't do as much reading last year as I wanted to, which last year I did get the Bible read, the entire Bible front to back. I did do that in 2021. So I was very happy for that accomplishment. I challenged myself last year to do that. So this year was another, a different challenge. I love to give myself a challenge. I, I'm not big on resolutions when it comes to a new year, but um, I do like to give myself a challenge. And that was one that um, I really wanted to do. And so far I'm doing really, really good with it. And uh, I really like doing the book reviews. I have also, here's another one. I've also been asked, um, by SGN Scoops the magazine that is a southern gospel uh, music publication but they do more than just music I've also been asked by them to review new Christian um, books so whether it be fiction or nonfiction um, I've been asked to do reviews on some things um, with them so my first review article um, I guess I'm a freelance <laughs> columnist now. <laughs> My first um, review article will be in the February edition of SGN Scoops Magazine. So I'm very excited about that. And um, I will be reviewing one of the new uh, Corey Ten Boom uh, publications that just came out um, fall of 2021. So I'm very excited. It was awesome. Anyways, as far as I'll go, <laughs> I'm not going to even tell you the name of it. we got to wait till February for the magazine article to come out before I um, talk any more about that. But I'm really excited about that. So we, we've got some really, really good stuff coming at us. And um, we appreciate it and give all glory to God, of course. But um, I'm just very very thrilled about the doors that are opening also i hadn't been able to chit chat with y'all about everyday life and things that's come up in a long time also and i know anybody that follows our um gospel group the pilot family the pilot family.com if you've not um been to our website that is also linked in the description box below um we just acquired an RV to do our um, traveling in. So we have been praying for an RV or something um, to help us along the way because we were traveling with just a Suburban and um, a pull-behind trailer. The, the trailer has a um, setup in it where we hung our clothes and all that and I mean, if we went over the road, and we have been over the road a lot lately, um, and different states and things, and if we went over the road, we were all jammed in that Suburban, which a Suburban is big until you get all five of us in it, and two of the people that are riding with you are way, well over six foot tall. <laughs> the Suburban's not that big once you get that many people in there, and then a cooler and snacks and all of that so we are we had been praying and praying and praying for the Lord to open up something in our price range <laughs> that we could travel in and 
not have to be, you know, fully dressed or um, even for our short um, singings and stuff, concerts and stuff that we go to close by, not have to be just fully dressed to the nines when we get there, be able to be comfortable riding there and then, you know, set up all of our stuff at the church or the venue, wherever we're going to be and then be able to change clothes and that that's just something that we really needed um that one and then two you know traveling so much like we do we just needed something very comfortable to accomplish that in and the lord has opened up that door and he has given us um people in our lives that have donated to that and we're just so appreciative of all of his blessings and we have an RV now, and it sleeps up to 10, so it's it's awesome. We just, we just love the doors that he has opened up for us. Cannot wait for our first event of 2022. Usually, December and January are very slow as far as concerts and things like that. People are getting over holidays and stuff, So, but we have um, one of our first um, events the end of January and two or three I think and then February picks up but then March through July we are non-stop so we thank him for all of his blessings that's for sure and helping us to get something that we could drive over the road and be comfortable in so I know that some of you had heard about that and heard about what we were trying to find and were trying to help us and y'all have donated we thank you so much and wanted to update about that so I put on a piece of the paper that come in that blue lady, um, what I call blue lady, <laughs> uh, scrap uh, little pack and then one of the little transparent stickers there. I think maybe I will cut out one of these butterflies for this one. I love these little things. So, so pretty love them. Uh, I think this little yellow one will work. So let's do, ooh, each one of them has like a number above it. I like that. So let's try to get the number in without cutting off the butterfly above it. Now with them being transparent, if you put them on, you still are, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, see too much of that. Or you can fussy cut it out a little closer to where their little wings are. So getting back to um, the reading I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of um, Christian fiction reading, but then also just any kind of um, mysteries, suspense and mystery is kind of my forte. I really like that. But I'll read an occasional uh, romance, but most of mine is um, suspense. So uh, authors like Colleen Coble, mm, love her. Um, let's see, Nicholas Sparks is probably my all-time favorite author ever and I know that's secular it's not Christian fiction but um, his his books are mostly clean fiction so there's not a lot of um, you know foul language and things like that so I really really like his books um, Karen Kingsbury of course um, I was trying to think if there was, oh, I just read Diane Chamberlain's brand new um, book, The House at the End of the Street. Oh my goodness. It was so good. I, I don't give five stars a lot. I gave her that one a five star. And I think it was the very first book I have ever read of hers. So I was very intrigued by it. I got it from NetGalley. I left them uh, my review because like I said it's um, just about to be released and um, I mean it was really good. Really good. So if you have uh, an opportunity to read that one. It did have some um, 
foul language in it. Uh, one uh, graphic scene, but it wasn't anything uh, that you don't see in the news. Uh, you know, I, I try my best not to um, read anything that is just horribly graphic or anything like that and like I said I like um, Christian fiction most of all but you know sometimes especially when I'm reviewing for NetGalley they don't have a Christian fiction and I just have to pick um, a mystery or a suspense or you know something like that that is not um, Christian fiction and this one was very good but like I said the the one um, graphic scene or scene between a man and a woman I'll put it that way um, was not uh, over over the top you know detailed and um, the foul language that was in it was sprinkled throughout the book and it wasn't something that was just overbearing I, I mean if you watch a movie on regular TV nowadays you're going to get the amount of foul language that was in this book so anyways with that being said the house at the end of the street very good by Diane Chamberlain so if you have a um, chance to read that you need to um, just got a few little die cuts that were on my desk and put there on that page that one is good and that one is good that one is good I like just how I did the um, emboss in there or the use of the stencil there is what I'm saying okay I think most of the rest of these pages are pretty much done and decorated but let me go back and make sure there's nothing else that I want to cover oh that's got some little banners in it cute and that's already got that on it I added the butterfly there and that there I don't really want to cover the vellum I put the vellum in there for kind of like covers over what was coming next so they're doing what I would want them to do and I've got that side covered and so I will uh, journal on that side I don't know I don't want to cover any of that up so I'll probably just write around that I'm good with that okay I'm good with that I like how that's been decorated without any kind of die cuts or anything else it's just got the coffee dyed and the speckled splatters um, there's that um, two paper bag pocket that I did a video on in this series okay I like that let's add something here I think I will add this piece here I like that and this again is from the new freebie that's on my buy me a coffee website link go down here and not get that bottom part there we go and then trim out on this side okay and then add where do I want to add this I think there maybe not all the way to the bottom and then we can put a word label too of some kind maybe oh yeah I like that them kind of standing up beside each other Tracy Fox to the rescue oh getting back to the cleaning out move man I've been all over the place with this video had not I as far as telling y'all everything uh, so we cleaned out on uh, New Year's Day we cleaned out the garage 
I cleaned out um, a cabinet in the kitchen. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? All of our holiday stuff we went through and stuff that we hadn't used in years, we cleaned that out. Oh yeah, I like that, that's pretty. Um, then uh, the drawers, the set of drawers that we have in our living room under our TV that's mounted on the wall, um, it is a catch-all. So holiday stuff was in there, uh, all kinds of stuff, old DVDs, things like that, all in that. So we cleaned that out. And then the next day, I decided that our medicine cabinet, and for anybody that has a medicine cabinet in your bathroom and it is just one little cabinet, I applaud you. Because with four people in our house, we have lots more medications that are needed as far as uh, cold and cough and cough drops and vitamins and things like that. So, I have two cabinets in our um, kitchen right above our coffee station. I have um, two of those, so it you know, kind of opens two doors, and th with three shelves full. I mean, y'all, it was full. So, I started going through and, you know, uh, destroying the old medication like you're supposed to and um, blacking out the labels on the bottles before we threw them out and, or re recycled them on, on all that stuff. Y'all, I found prescription medication in there from 2015. I'm not lying. It was craziness. So anyways, got that all cleaned out, reorganized all the old stuff out. It felt so good. And then the next day, I decided, hey, I need, because, you know, we were off work and it really had not ramped back up yet, decided, hmm, let's go ahead and clean out the extra closet that we also use as a pantry. So it's half coat closet and catch-all and then half pantry items. And I have a shelf in there that my dad built for me and... So anyways, the next morning, after cleaning out that whole medicine cabinet, and Aaron Jonas had helped me with that too. So I get up the next morning, have my coffee. I'm getting stuff. I mean, just piling it, strolling it out of that closet. And he walks in there and he's like, Mom, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. I'm just trying to get it all cleaned out. So he comes in there and he helps me. We get all that cleaned out and organized and, you know, extra sheets and things like that, all in sections and cleaned out in there just that is the mood I have been in lately and when I have come across something I'm just I haven't used this in six months it's either going in the garbage or it's going to the thrift store or it's going to you know the donation box so it's just the mood I have been in and it feels so good it feels so good and freeing just getting rid of stuff I just love it so I think this it's good. I like that. I don't want to cover it up except for some writing that I will do later. That's that fold out, flip out pocket that we did in a journal. In a, in a journal. Well, we did it in this journal in a video not too long ago. That is um, one of Miss Corey's inspirations. I like that. The way I've stamped on it. and It's got the inks and blotches and that's the first entry that I put in there. There's that little decoration there, and I think we're good on this journal now. It is all decorated the way I want it. So now all I have to do is go through and do my writing, and this journal will be all filled up. There's one of those M scrap busters that we did not too long ago in that first or front flap. I love this journal. I love how full it is. Look how thick it is. I love that. So this is the Coffee Dyed Speckled Journal. Like I said, I will leave the playlist for all the videos from this journal uh, in the description box below. This one is going in that playlist after I get it loaded. And thank y'all for sticking around and listening to me ramble about all kinds of um, 
new personal goings on and things I've been up to and um, I thank y'all so much for prayers and the help and the ideas that you've been giving us for videos and I look look forward to doing lots lots more videos for y'all in 2022 I hope it is a great and blessed year for us all y'all have a great day I'll see you in the next video bye y'all